If you've been keeping up with the uh, transformation for Aaron, uh, all the issues, I guess, the, um, not, not like, they aren't major, but the issues that happened with him, uh, there was a bug where if you switch to the transformation thing for you to see how his cards are and stuff, you would show that 100 and then you would show that he wasn't super awakened, now they fixed it, and I was wondering if they also fixed the fact that he seems very underwhelming when he transforms. Like, Aaron... When he transforms, he just becomes Red Eskimo. Like, that's all it happens. He just becomes Red Eskimo. He gets the same cards as him. And his stats are boosted. But it's kind of like if you had Red Arthur and Red Eskimo and you boosted Red Eskimo with Red Arthur. That's, that's, that's almost the same thing. Like, honestly, he, he has the same ultimate as well, he, like, as well. It literally is almost like he just becomes Red Eskimo. And I was wondering if that was because his Super Awakening wasn't proccing and stuff like that. And I don't know. It, like, they fixed this menu issue. But they said in game it didn't change much. But I want to test it out. So, so I literally made the Aaron video yesterday. <clears throat> but I'm sure a lot of people are interested in seeing more Aaron videos anyways. Because I am assuming the AOT collab will not take too long to release on Global. Um, especially considering the units aren't the best. The three AOT units, they, especially Eren, they seemed so much better on paper. Uh, Mikasa, okay, she didn't seem all that good on paper, and she wasn't all that good. But Levi and Eren be, like, seemed extremely impressive on paper, and then in the game, they didn't seem that much. But here's the thing, right? If these units release on global, they will be much more impressive than they are currently on JP. That's a fact. And the reason for that is, um, the reason for it is that, um, there isn't Lost Vein Meliodas on Global. There isn't, uh, Blue Elizabeth on Global. You guys have, you know, actual practical teams and stuff. You guys can use whatever you want. Um, on JP, if you are, like, of course, if you're playing, like, Masters or Platinum, you can use whatever you want. But if you're playing Champions... I'm just going to it now because I'm not bothering playing by myself. Uh, I, I usually only play like on Saturday on, on, or uh, Sunday before reset. If you're on high champions and stuff, you can't use whatever you want or else you're just going to lose. So, Okay, he went for that. Uh, that makes sense. <clears throat> so, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for uh, this right here. Hopefully we'll break the shield. Yeah, 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 and his stun's good. Hopefully he doesn't have a stun. I don't have a cleanse on my team, which is really annoying. Hopefully he doesn't have a stun. I mean, regardless, um, I should be able to transform. If I transform, I can take off ultimate gauge <laughs> unless he kills me. I mean, I, I can revive. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to transform, and I wish I could... Okay, here's what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to ult, and then attack King. <clears throat> wish I could check his stats as soon as I transform, but I have to wait until next turn. <laughs> you saw his base stats on the, uh, on the other page, right? I should kill King, and it should heal me quite a bit. 73k, yep. He has insane lifesteal because of, uh, he boosts his own, uh, you know, his HP related stats, which includes lifesteal. And my lifesteal is so big. I like, I say it all the time, like lifesteal, if you boost lifesteal like 20% with the food, you see the difference, like in the stages and stuff. He's much tankier as well as you can clearly see. I don't know, I think they might have changed. Like, it, it seemed like he hit for much more than usual, but it sh might just be me thinking. Let me see his stats. 9-3, 115k max HP. Mmm. I mean... Hmm. I mean, he seems pretty good now. Maybe I was imagining that he didn't seem all that good. That definitely kills King. Maybe I was imagining? I don't know. 86k, that's, that's a shame that I crim I should have attacked Meliodas, it would have killed him. It would have definitely killed- Okay. When cards combine, I'm just scared someone's getting an ultimate. 
But his cards combined he did. I should have gone for killing me Liotis. It definitely would have. Ooh, I'm getting lucky with cards. I can shield up. That will give me another another um, uh, boost, right? Shield up and attack. Mm. Now, I'm going to make sure Milieu is dead. So I'm going to attack with Elizabeth as well. Because he... He's definitely yeah, he's definitely going to be using the uh, the uh, level three. That might give him the ultimate. This level three single target, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll take care of you. That's good. So yesterday, right? Oh, you can't stun him. Oh, you stun Elizabeth. Oh, but you didn't put up a shield. I can probably kill Meliodas if I do this. I can probably kill Meliodas. Depending on how strong Aaron is. I definitely kill him. Let's see. Oh yeah. 40k. I don't know, maybe I was imagining things. That was the meta team, and I just won. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, Glocks. Okay. It, I mean, he serves the same purpose as King. So I guess it makes sense. Oh, you know what I want to do? We'll rank up Eren. And then do this. Save this level 3. For when he transforms. Oh, that would be great. No Cradle Melee, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh... I'm gonna transform, of course, of course. And then... Oh, but... I was gonna attack twice, but if, if I do, he's gonna debuff me. I'm actually gonna do this, right? This, this, and this. So how much are you hitting for my guy? Yeah, I'm playing this. I'm geared, and I'm gonna go, go to geared again. 55k. Oh, I see. Okay. So, Glox is commandment procced. Because I used an ultimate and then attacked. I thought... I don't know why I thought that he wouldn't proc. I don't know why I thought that he wouldn't proc, but he did. Okay. Shield up. Ult. And then... I'll move, I'll move her card. I wanna get the... Uh, the uh, the ult for her, so I can get more buffs for uh, for Aaron. Chesty fun. Okay, Liz is dead. Can I get a rank up? No. Okay. I can use her ult to rank up and then attack with Aaron. I might be able to kill Meliodas. <clears throat> I'm gonna get two more buffs, I think. No heal too much. Took like no damage. Oh, he's gonna heal quite a bit. I don't have a choice but to kill Aaron now. To kill Aaron. To kill uh, Meliodas now, so. Alright, ult, rank up, and then attack. Mm, I could have double ranked up Aaron in the last turn, actually, now that I think about it. Can you kill him? Ah, are you kidding me? Can Aaron survive the ult? He might be able to. He might be able to. Food? Oh, it's a 1 6 melee. Uh, I'm lucky for you. <laughs> it's a 1 6 melee. Hate to see it. Okay, then it's done. Rank up him. Put up a shield. I'll do type advantage, level 1. Uh, I don't think he changed anything. I don't know. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Glocks sealed level 2 cards. Wait, but... Oh, stupid. <laughs> stupid. Glock sealed level 2 cards. I didn't even notice. How is he getting so many level 2s? I, I swear he sealed so many times. He got another one! He sealed Gopher's level 2 now. A nice motorcycle outside. Nice. Anyway. I mean, this is done. I'm gonna go to the next one. I'm gonna go geared again now. But it seems really good. 
Honestly, honestly, if, if Aaron comes out on global, he will actually be super stupid because there will not be Lost Vein to cuck him. Like, you saw that he was still tanking Lost Vein hits, like, almost no problem as well. Okay, let me go to Geared. Actually, this, this match is still happening because... <sighs> having two healers in one team is just the most annoying thing. And I got this lineup right here, which I liked, so... Let me attack Elizabeth with this. I'm gonna rank up Eren, and level 3, and then level 3 again. Take off ultimate gauge. I'll be debuffed though, didn't I? Yeah, that was a one hit kill. If it wasn't shield fully healed, so good, it was, good that he was. He got debuffed, that's why he hit so low. Alright. Oh, I got his ultimate. Thing with, like, here's the thing, right? I think transformations in this game are inherently like, not as good as, like, on Doku or something. I'll explain that in the next match, because I'm pretty much done with this one. So I'll be going to the next one. Yeah, what, what am I saying? Let me show the ultimate first. <laughs> but he, he is debuffed, so he's not going to hit as hard as he could, but... Just ult, just because. Yeah. Okay, so transformations, right? Here's the thing. This is a case with Eren, so it might be different for other transformations when you get those. But the fact that he... Let me do this. Go for Elizabeth first. He... Um, needs to first use an ultimate to transform, and then... He can use an actual ultimate, that's a problem, because... Uh, like... The, what, what would you prefer, right? To use an ultimate that does like a lot of damage, like, it, just the ultimate. The ultimate just does a lot of damage, right? Or an ultimate that transform, and then the character becomes better and can do more damage afterwards. Like, of course, there's there's a quality for doing that, right? Where, for the most part, you'd prefer the ultimate to just do damage. Like, right now, there's no point in me transforming because I have no cards. I will, because, but... There would be no point of me transforming because I had no cards for him in my hand. Like, you see what I mean? I think that, and I think, I don't, I don't remember who said this, we were uh, discussing about this the other day. If Eren had uh, the possibility of using one of his cards, either, you know, the uh, AoE or the single target, right after he transforms in the same turn, that would be so much better, right? Let's say you're using him and... <laughs> no crit. You're using him, right? And you transform. And right as you transform, you just pull out the uh, the level three the level three attack card, either the AOE or the single target. Then you know that's really good. Maybe way too good. I don't know, but that's really good, right? But he just transforms and then he becomes stronger. So maybe in the future, right, with new units that come out, it will be different, and maybe we'll get you know um, a character that will transform. As he, like, does damage with his ultimate. Like, let's say... Because... I... It, it's safe to assume, right? The... Um, the one Ascomer, right? Would be a transformation unit. It's safe to assume that. So let's say we do get the one. If his ultimate, he does damage. And then he transforms in the next turn, right? Or the same turn, whatever. Then there's, that's 200k, no crits. Then there's much more interesting. Now you picked my interest. Because that's why his CPU is so low, his death pierce, unlucky mega. Now you picked my interest, right? Because you're doing damage and then you're also transforming. But for, I guess, this, this is the first transformation, so they probably didn't go all, go like, all out, right? They, um, they're probably like, oh, I don't know if it's a good idea to just make Eren way too good. He's gonna be a collab unit, so after he goes away, you know, people will not be able to get him anymore. So it's best that we don't make him super broken. And that makes sense. So I hope that the ones that come afterwards that are gonna be transformation units, you know, have something like that with them. That makes them much better, you know? Oh, okay. It, it was. It started recording and it stopped. Ooh, Fierce Team. Ooh, I'm not using protection. No. Okay. Going against Pierce and <laughs> going against Pierce without protection—that's uh, it's not fun. Mm, okay, 
You know what I should do? I should, um... Rank up Elizabeth. Woo! Calm down. Rank up Elizabeth. Can I, can I move? Can I move? Put up the shield. Stun Ascanor. Now, the reason I'm stunning Ascanor is just so he doesn't kill Elizabeth. Because I don't want the revive to go away. And the shield is for me, Leotis. Please, don't be a waste of a stun. It was a waste of a stun. Oh, that's so unfortunate. That was such a waste of a stun. Oh, but did he... Is it gonna break? It did. Such a waste of a stun. That's unfortunate. Uh, oh. Hmm. Okay. You see, like... I need to use other cards. Like, for me to force the transformation on the Aaron, I need to use his cards. But I can't right now. And until he transforms, he's nothing special. Wow, he had no attack cards except Meliodas. That was a waste of a taxi as well. <laughs> I'm just I'm just not good. And this match is just not mine. This is not my match. Oh attack me. Thank you. Thank you, you're dead. <sighs> See <laughs> Elizabeth is just so stupid. Okay, now I can get his ultimate. But what's the point? Like the match is almost done. And I need to use his cards to get his ultimate too. That means, right, when it, when they transform, I'm not gonna have his cards in my hand. It's just... The, the whole design is very flawed. But they can definitely work on it. They can definitely make other transformation units really good. Like, it's the same thing I mentioned Dokkan, right? Their first transformation unit, or units, because it was two of them at once, was Gojira and Vegito, and they have trash transformation mechanics, like, if you look nowadays, like, compared to the other units, right? But, they improved and made the other units have better mechanics. So, they can definitely make the post Eren, I guess, transformation units have much better conditions, maybe, do maybe, you have transformation units that won't even need to ult. They will have to do something else. I don't know what, but something else. But I don't think anything changed. It was just a dis display thing. The transformation just really was not underwhelming. I I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's what the uh, the issue was. Oh wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I'll transform. Rank up Gopher. Level three. I know he's red, but he's still gonna be a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, the the, tr the transformation mechanic itself is pretty flawed, I guess. It's um, it's the inherent issue here. It's not the unit, or the unit as well. But you get what I mean. There wasn't a. I I I hate to say that there wasn't a bug because it really does seem like it. Wait. Okay, I was gonna say that's uh, that's of course with Golfer's buff as well. It just, especially on ungeared. Like, geared, it seems super strong, but on ungeared, it seems very weak. Crit? 430k. <laughs> on type disadvantage. Alright, I, I don't think anything changed. If anything, we'll have to wait until the next one. So, if you're playing global and you wanted to see if he was gonna be fixed, you didn't sound for him, he will definitely be very good on global. I think he will uh, be much more meta than he can be on JP right now because Global doesn't have all these all, doesn't have Lost Vein. Well I was gonna say it doesn't have all these units but look let's be real the unit I being is Lost Vein. Global doesn't have Lost Vein so you can use whatever you want. Um but yeah that's it. Nothing changed I hope I guess if they did is you probably didn't even notice.